ready for the big one. And uh, yeah, there's a real hush come over the, the stadium. As these two warriors prepare to go to battle. Alexis Serapisos, big opportunity for him to further his career in the sport. He's uh, one of our best fighters, undoubtedly. Shifted up to Hamilton this year, training out of Ethan Shep's House of Pain. And, well, a fighter that has had around about the 300 fight mark. And it's game on. Nice timing. Sarah Pisos very happy with the way he comes into this fight. Fit, he's well, no injury. Samui, uh, who goes back to Thailand in a, about a week and a half's time. Um, well, you can see how much he just loved it when he came in. So, very relaxed, both fighters. Serapisos giving away that huge amount of experience, but looking just equally at home out there. And the first one to try and find the openings by going down to the body with the hands. Lazy elbow just probing from Samui. And it's a, probably a fight that Sarah Pisos has got to be really careful he makes no mistakes in. We, we know that our fighters are world class, right up there with the very best. When you're fighting a, a fighter like Samui, one mistake and uh, Sarah Pesos really enjoying his time out there in round number one. And uh, doing good in the grapple once again. Uh, speed in the kick from Sarah Pesos. Samui uh, going downstairs, going to work the body, and Sarah Pesos, uh, yeah, he's really taken the fight forward. This is his uh, his style of fighting. Um, you might have heard in the interview that he he wanted to fight his own style. If he had to change it, he would, but uh, he likes to he likes to take the fight to his opponent, and you know. And an illustrious opponent as he is, he's doing exactly that. And I've got him edging round number one. And I think he's pretty happy with his performance as well. Edwin Sammy down in the corner with trainer Ethan Shep. And all good in the camp so far. Samui <laughs> always trying to get those elbows away. Sarah Pisos doing a real good job at defending himself. As we all know, it only takes one. Ooh, 
take down the channel with the right hand from Sarah Pisos. But uh, so Mui, oh, that's nice work too. So the right hand finding a little bit of a home there, and he's asking a lot of questions. And as long as he stays on the outside of those dangerous elbows, he looks to be quite quite at home. That's Sarah Pisos. But whenever you've got two good fighters like this and you've got elbows involved, you're always sort of on the edge of your seat just wondering when it's going to happen. He diffused the situation in round number one. And he's diffused it again albeit that he has to pick himself up off the canvas but not sustaining any collateral damage is the, is the big objective here oh nice work that right hand again and This is, this is a real good display from Sarah Pisos in every sense of the word. We, we see it a lot in, in uh, New Zealand in the fighting where a fighter that's maybe got a uh, good record with a right hand knocks a lot of fighters out with the right hand they look for it look for it look for it and maybe that's uh, what Samui is doing here I know it's early in the fight but he brought the elbows into play and that may be the way he fights back home and he just looks for the cuts and while he's doing that Sarah Pizos is doing a real good job of racking up some points both think they did well in that <laughs> Second time for round three. Lofty time. Clyde Cowley signals time on for the third round. And so far, the Kiwi has been doing nothing wrong. And we see the kicks come into play. So change of tactics here in the third round no way through with the elbows so far so try and get the hands down by kicking the body and Sarah Pisos well, just keeps on boring in beautiful work straight down the channel this time with the left hand he's been having success with the right right tell he gets them away from the ropes here in the new ring or fairly new ring at the ABA taken on the forearms and the gloves those kicks he goes back there again a lot of kicking with the left leg Sarah Pisa say, I can take that all day. I don't know if any fighter can, but uh, they're going to say that, aren't they? Oh, nice combination. And uh, Samu gets those legs going again. Big wind up. Was that a... Wow. I don't know if there was a little bit of a reaction there or not, if he's just bluffing. Sarah Pesos. I've, I liked him the first time I saw him on television, and uh, every time I've seen him fight since, I've been a real fan. And I'm, uh, you know, really impressed with the way he's going here tonight. Definitely got the better hands and 
Nice work. The last one in the long combination landing on the forehead. And uh, Samui in a, in a real fight here. We haven't seen the hands of Samui yet. We've seen the elbows, we've seen the kicks. We haven't seen the knees or Punches. You've seen the grappling. Well, we're underway in round number four. And is there going to be another change of tactics from, from Samui? We saw them change to the kicks in the previous round after two rounds of elbows. And Sarah Pisos, well, you wouldn't expect them to change anything. As uh, why fix it if it ain't broke. And it's been the punches straight down the channel. And like he went for the elbow there from my angle but um, yeah everything has been working pretty good and the thing that he's done oh beautiful left hand and it got a wee bit of a reaction and Sam Millie's in a little bit of trouble you can't take too many of those from Sarah Pisos he says he's okay. He's not okay. In fact, he's not, not, not okay. This one's all over. Sarah Pesos. Well, it took a lot of shots. Clyde Kelly had to let it go. It's a professional fight. But Sarah Pesos, what a finish to the fight. Round number four. And Samui is out cold well he he employed the tactics of straight down the channel and he had success earlier on and he kept up with the game plan and it worked to a t and it was the hands that started the the downfall and it was the hands that finished it so let's hope that uh, Jack Samui is okay, a little bit of concern there. Got the medics in straight away. They'll keep him down there until he uh, is recovered.
Alexa. Where are we going? This camera over here, mate. Well, mate, you, he come out with the elbows and was pretty intent on trying to land those. Yep. Yeah. You, you did a good job of deflecting everything. Yeah, yeah, I got hit with one elbow in the second or third round on top of my head. Nothing too bad. I managed to fight a, not a perfect fight, but a pretty good fight. I'm not very sore, which is which is always good. It means I can fight again soon. Um, managed to get the job done in the fourth, which is always what we aim for. Um, I wish him a speedy recovery and hope everything goes well for him. Well, the, he, it was him that had to change tactics because after two rounds of elbows that weren't working, he went to the kicks. Yeah, he went to the kicks and they were working. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't blocking them very well. Um, that was my mistake. I was trying to work off them. Um, I think I was landing better shots, so I was hurting him when I was hitting him. I, it was noticeable, I felt. Um, so I felt like I was winning leading up to the stoppage. Um, not a perfect fight, but a learning fight. We feel good, can do it again soon. There, there was no need to change the tactics because, as you say, the game plan was working. And yep. then um, round number four, he, he took a fair few before he finally went down. Yeah, I could see he was a bit wobbly. Um, I was kind of hoping uh, the ref, it was no, he did a good job, but I was hoping he would step in a little bit uh, before he went, you know, before he went to sleep. He didn't need to um, be put unconscious. But um, it's the fight game. It's what we do, you know. He gets paid to do this. I get paid to do this. We, we know the risk when we get involved. You know, it could have been, could have been me. It is what it is. I, I really do wish him a speedy recovery, though. I, I know you do, mate. And, and it's good that you've come through this with no injuries. When, yeah. when are we going to see Alexis uh, Serapisos again? So in New Zealand, you'll see me on October 15th. Check out Knees of Fury 60 in Hamilton, uh, run by Ethan Shep. Uh, what we believe to be the first ever fancy dress uh, fight show. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, get along to that October 15 at the YMCA in Hamilton. Have you got an opponent yet? Uh, it's to be announced, but it's a good fight with one of New Zealand's very best. Um, stay tuned. Okay, we'll be there. Great. Thank you very much. Good on you. Cheers.